from the depth instant tutorial you're watching instant tutorials and today we're going to talk about emp insulation emp as you know is this scary force which just goes through things and deletes your juicy ai components and weapon computers and detection and stuff like that and you'll be very sad a while ago it was okay to insulate yourself with some stone it isn't anymore the EMP goes through the stone. It also won't get stopped by heavy armor anymore. Some time ago, um, heavy armor actually took some EMP damage itself. But it doesn't anymore. It doesn't even stop EMP at all. The heavy armor does not stop EMP in any way. So other blocks have some EMP damage reduction. 15% plus 30 per meter is stone and uh, wood. And on rubber, we have 30% plus 60 per meter, which means that rubber is a very good insulator. So to improve the insulation and decrease the EMP damage, we could add some rubber here. However, this is a quite powerful EMP surge, so it goes through because it has nowhere else to go. To solve this, we can go into the first layer and add some EMP surge protectors. And it's smart to connect it with the heavy armor, because the heavy armor works as a very nice superconductor. So, if we hit it there... Beautiful! It was stopped on this layer. It had no reason to go beyond here. Here we have wood and, of course, rubber that will indeed stop much of the EMP damage. Then you might ask, is there an even better way to stop EMP damage? Because it can obviously get through when all the surge protectors are destroyed. Because these get destroyed by EMP. And yes, there is. A layer of air. This air gap is much more powerful than anything else we mentioned previously. You can see it wants to go into the main component and through the rubber and down there. It doesn't jump the air. If you want to add some armor here, this is a great area to add applique panels. Because these applique panels, you can see, they don't have a front facing connection point. Which means you can't place them like this. ERA on the other hand does look like it's an empty airspace, but in fact it is not. You cannot use ERA for this layer. You can also not realign your applique panels like this. Because that will not work. When insulating against EMP, be very meticulous. Because one little mistake, one little mistake, the EMP will find it and delete your blocks and all would have been for nothing. So make sure that you really see if you are insulated or not. And uh, one meter of rubber is usually enough, but you do really need to lead the EMP somewhere else, because otherwise it will just jump the air gap. It is not very likely, but EMP can jump an air gap. But it has to be really strong to be able to do that. And uh, just as I said, make it go somewhere else. If they got somewhere else to go, they will go there. And the longer they'll travel, the weaker they will be when they reach there. So let's do some practical EMP insulation. So, uh, as I said, rubber is uh, good. You'll probably need one type of connection point for your AI or whatnot. So, rubber is the thing to go. So, if we would insulate this small little uh, system here, we can just build a little box out of uh, rubber. And the stuff inside this box will be deemed uh, ish safe. So, we just close it off like that. We can also have air gaps on the sides instead. Now, I didn't add it to all of the sides, but you want a layer of um, heavy armor or metal around this thing, dependent on how uh, big or heavy your ship will be. Of course, this might be all too heavy for some uh, smaller or medium ships, but say it's a decent build and we want to put in some decent protection here. Just surround it with heavy armor. And remember, this does not protect in any way against the EMP. It really needs somewhere else to go. So, around this little core here, we will add surge protectors. And now, the EMP will have somewhere else to go. 
And to get the armor class bonus from uh, the heavy armor, it's smart to wrap around this entire thing with metal. And this little thing will shield us from EMP. Very handy. And we're safe. Now I'm going to show you how to protect some smaller components that are indeed also susceptible against EMP damage. Like the uh, detection components. Uh, all of these basically are susceptible against the EMP. So we need to protect them. In this case, it's important that we have some kind of connection point. So we are going to use rubber for this as well. So we will surround them on all the sides. You don't need to surround the corners. It seems to not matter at all. And then we can add some armor around this. And now when we hit it, the EMP will go somewhere else. Except it gets a direct hit, but uh, the chances are small and you can't do anything about that. Another component we would protect in a similar way is the laser system's LAM node. Because this thing is unfortunately also EMP susceptible. So let's say we have a laser system below here, a laser connector and a LAM node. We stick it on there and this is EMP protected. Very nice. When building turrets, it's super important to protect the weapons computer. So to do that, you'll need to do the same thing. Go with some rubber. And then you'll add your local weapon controller inside of that. Outside of this area, you can add your normal armor as you would normally do. Make sure you do not connect anything that um, hits the component from above, like cram pieces. So it's probably smart to add a, add a block of rubber there too. Very good. So now when we hit there, nothing happens. We hit it there, it went through. We hit it under, it's still okay. It doesn't go from the deck and kind of sneakily jump up from the deck to the turret um, floor. No, it kind of wants to go uh, through the uh, turret block and down onto the main construct. So that's how it works. And you want to make sure it has somewhere else to go. Like in this case, we have this thing here. So it won't damage our computer. It's still there. Very handy. And when testing EMP damage yourself, go to the Zeet menu in the designer and find the EMP debug tool here. Equip it, right click, and you can set the damage here. So I hope that this tutorial has helped you to protect yourself from EMP damage. And if it did, please leave a like and I'll see you next time. This is your host, Jimmy Desm, signing out.